Hello, my name is Silver Phoenix, and this is my unboxing of another Japanese import um, figurine, which is the Maki Evon Galleon 3.0. You you can not redo figurine. Um, I'm quite surprised because I've done a couple of the Japanese import kind of figurines, which I'm getting for very very cheap. Um, this one I got for 10 euro, um, which is roughly around 10 to 11 dollars. I'm kind of shocked to see so many cheap figurines extremely well done. I mean, the paintwork is really well done um, compared to some figurines that I get for like 10 to 30 dollars, uh, 30 euro, which is roughly ridiculous in, in price difference. I mean, you shouldn't get the same kind of level of detail on these things as you do on something that's worth like a hundred or even two hundred euro. Um, I, I've seen the twenty euro ones, uh, figurines like from Aliens and um, from um, Predator series, and some of the times the plastic is always bent in certain areas because it's been inside a plastic box. The the figurine's mouth, because it has moving parts, is usually bent, or the the leg is bent in certain ways. But I wasn't expecting, I got this for like 10 euro off um, um, Amazon, which I'll get uh, put a link on the bottom to if anyone else wants to get this or actually look at themselves. I think this is like 15 euro at this point, but I got it for 10. So yeah, um, as you can tell, it's actually got Japanese writing or Chinese writing on the bottom. It's the D classification. I, I have no idea what the D represents. There's Yvonne Galleon written on the top. Um, as you can see, if I bend her forward, you can see her because the, the front is quite shiny. There's also plastic inside um, holding her, but there's also a thin sheet of plastic to protect her from the actual plastic keeping her inside. Which I think is it should be more it should be practiced more in um, other figurines. They should put at least something to protect the figurine from the actual protection because the plastic could actually scratch the details or even damage certain parts of the actual figurine. Um, at the front of the box, there's a huge pink um, corner at the front. There's a, ma a massive window you see her displayed in. You also get her full name, as well as the e Yvonne Galleon 3.0. Um, zero and you cannot redo written the bottom as well as a pink line going to that side the other side is the same on the back you get her name as well as um, Japanese cautions as well as um, ex uh, where you can actually be manufactured I think it was manufactured here as well as the phone number and it tells you what the characters made out of PVC which is really kind of strange I don't see that kind of labeling um, which is kind of strange. I don't see that on many labels in um, Europe that you get to see what this actual character is made out of, a PVC ABS um, figure. On the bottom, it's plain. The top, another window, which is, I think, a bit pointless because these rivets here kind of block your sight inside the actual box. So I'm going to unbox this off camera and show you what she looks like outside the box. So yeah, this is what you get inside the box itself. It's usually a, a plastic protector to protect and keep the character itself safe inside the box so it doesn't move too much. The box itself comes with inside there is like a pink diorama kind of backing. It's very pink. Um, also, this is a plastic sheeting that surrounds the actual character to protect it from the actual protector so it doesn't get scratched or damaged by the actual plastic. This is the stand, which has wording on the bottom, which says Yvonne Ga Galleon 3.0, and the name of the movie itself. This has no weight. No weight whatsoever. It's just clear plastic. Um, it, I mean, if, if there is a, a figure on this, or if you put it on your bookshelf, or even put it on a shelf itself, if you do hit this character, it will fly, because there is no mass or no weight to actually this stand here. I mean, it's just to hold up the figurine itself. If you do hit it, it will go flying. So yeah, and this I am extremely surprised in. Like I said before, for something so cheap, 
the level of detail in this character is amazing. You even get the strands of her hair. I mean, this cost me like 10 euro, which is roughly around $10. Um, the level of paintwork, if the camera can focus, come on camera, come on. The camera's having difficulties focusing. I think it's because the sun is too shiny, but there you go. The level of detail on the paintwork alone, the camera is really auto-focusing crazily. It's going nuts. So I can't hold it that close that much because my camera is crap. But there you go, here we go. The detail is ridiculous. The paintwork, as well as the actual, I mean, on the glasses itself, you can see that the glass paint doesn't actually touch the face and the face color, which I have never, I don't see that much from figurines. I mean, some figurines are quite expensive when you see that kind of level of detail and paintwork. It's like almost like this was hand painted, but it wasn't because it's all mass produced because you can tell by her hand that there's certain parts of the hand that's been painted kind of poorly. But you don't expect this kind of level of detail in something so cheap. And she's modelled quite well. I mean, there's no extra little bits of flaky bits of um, plastic. There's no extra bits of um, paint that's f peeling off. And this is actually, this um, paint here is kind of metallic in pink. I don't think this is her actual suit. I'm going to put this on, I put her on the stand. I think this goes, um, I think the pink suit um, it's from Oscar's suit. I think it's Oscar from the actual. There we go. I've just popped on it. So I think that's Oscar's suit um, when she was used in the. Um, this is the plug suit that Oscar was using. Um, I I haven't got Oscar at this moment. I'm hoping to get Oscar uh, uh, Oscar in the future. Um, when she's wearing an eye patch, but um, at this moment I've only got Ray, which I will be doing. I will be opening Ray um, in the next video. So yeah, I'm quite surprised in the level of detail in something so cheap. Which I'll put a link in the description where you can find this. Um, it could have gone up in price by that time, but I don't think so. It's probably just like ten to twelve euro at this point. Um, very surprised. On the level of detail in this for such a cheap item. So yeah, my name is Silver Phoenix, and this was my unboxing of the figure. I can't remember her name. Mira, Mira, Mira. Um, I think her name's Mira. Um, I look on the box. Yes, it's yes, it's Mira. So um, yeah, so. I will be doing more like of these in the future. Uh, I'm hoping to. There's other two other figurines I'm going to do after this one. And yeah, my name is Silver Phoenix, and I'll see you next time. I usually forget this. I am, I'm I'm very forgetful lately. Um, I should measure her to see how tall she stands with the actual stand itself. So this is uh, a normal centimeter ruler. She stands about 21 above 21 centimeters, so it's like 21.5 with the stand. The stand is about 1.5 centimeters tall. So her by herself, she's just roughly around 19 centimeters tall. So yeah, I should do that more often um, measuring these figures because I, I get people asking me um, how tall the figurines are. Is it quite big? Actually, I was quite surprised how tall this one is. Um, so yeah, this is extremely, extremely detailed character. She is quite tall as well. And my name is Silver Phoenix, and I will see you next time.